Key Bretona back on the scene. Well, especially here at Camtech Nuovo, it's been a long time since one has graced our desks. We loved their speakers the first time round, and now their second generation speakers are here, we thought we'd check out the new Libretone Zip Mini 2. The Libretone Zip Mini 2 has been built to have a focus on 360 degree audio, thanks to its multiple sound drivers around the cylindrical shaped housing. It's covered in a case in which you can get four different colors, and this is where the speaker really gets its name. It zips up around the actual bottom of the speaker and can be taken off and washed if it does get dirty. On top is a single touch sensitive button which when pressed, play and pauses music. If you stroke your finger around the outside of the pad, it'll adjust the speaker's volume. The whole thing is pretty light to carry and has an included carrying strap which you can see on the back here. And the bass is however significantly heavier than the rest of the speaker which is great for keeping the speaker from being knocked over too easily. On the back or should I say on one of the sides, you will find the pad Power input and a power button, a 3.5mm aux input for hardwiring music sources like mobile phones for example, and a USB type A port uh, so you can charge your smartphone directly from the speaker itself. There is a 12 hour battery life as well which is absolutely superb. Take the Libretone Zip Mini 2 to the beach or to your camping trip for example and then just let the music flow overnight and you can even charge your phone. Uh, in case you get into a bit of trouble. I don't think I've ever had a simpler time setting up a speaker to my wireless network like I had with the Zip Mini 2. As soon as I powered on the speaker, the Libretone app found it straight away, prom prompted me to uh, select my wireless network and enter my password, and within seconds I was playing my favorite songs through the, my Spotify account. There's also Amazon Alexa voice assistant built in too, so it'll act exactly the same way as an Amazon Echo, as long as you've got the app on your phone as well. The app is also where you'll find various e settings depending on the music you're listening to and this time they've included some really funky names like Rock the House and Jazz Club. I stuck mostly with Rock the House because it offered some decent bass frequencies while keeping mid tones warm and high tones pretty crisp. The app also allows you to set up a sleep timer so it will shut itself off once you've drifted off to sleep. There's also the option to set your speaker to various locations of your house. If you tell the app that the Libretone Zip Mini 2 is on a shelf for example, it will prioritize one side of the actual speaker for audio. If it's in the middle of the room and you tell your app that it's there, it will give you 360 degree audio. Now, if you're someone who likes to turn things off to save power, then give the speaker a couple of minutes to sync back up to the wireless network in your home before panicking and resetting it back up. Okay, so what does this little speaker actually sound like? Well, pretty good actually. At medium volume, the speaker can produce some wonderful sounding music and is very well controlled, especially in bass heavy tracks. There's slight distortion towards max volume, which is kind of expected, so I would advise against really pushing the speaker too much. This is all powered by one single 10 centimeter driver and also a 25 millimeter tweeter that is directed uh, in a 360 degree kind of way to give you that full sound from wherever you are in the room. The only downside to this is the fact that you will only receive mono sound and even adding a second zip speaker to your lineup won't change this like we've seen with other wireless speakers. So you're really stuck uh, and you get zero sound separation. Now, to be honest with you, I'm pretty impressed with the Libretone Zip Mini 2. It's a nice little speaker that would actually suit modern furnished homes and can actually produce some decent sounding music. Now, there is a bigger option available, which is just called the Zip 2. Uh, if you're wanting something a little less portable, that's but that's really your call. So thank you very much for checking out our video review of the Libretone Zip Mini 2. If you enjoyed this video, then do click that like button. Please do subscribe to keep up with all of our latest tech and gaming videos. And also let us know in the comments below what you think about the Libretone Zip Mini 2, whether you would go for something like this, or whether you've had any hands-on experience with the Libretone Zip 2 or any of the Libretone speakers. Let us know in the comments below. We're also streaming over on Mixer on a Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 8 p.m. GMT onwards. That's British time. So if you're wanting to watch us play some games or just come and hang out in the chat, send us a message over there or just come and come and chill out with us while we play some games. As I say, thank you very much for watching and we will see you in the next video.